Stewart. So, hey everyone. Uh, today I want to take a look at Warframe's Dead Zones, and as well as give uh, some requests for more options. I've already done a few videos on this, uh, so the actual Dead Zones aren't too different. The only real change is that the Dead Zone has been increased slightly, um, and there have been options added to uh, control everything. So that's pretty great um, to do a quick run through. Uh, this uses 20% circular dead zone. There is some restricted diagonal movement, as you can see here. And still uses turn acceleration, so uh, once you pass into the shaded region, you'll see a uh, turn acceleration occur. Uh, this threshold is actually slightly sooner than um, the, it, the, by default, the outer dead zone is set to 95, and this seems to trigger at about 93. Um, that's a little interesting, it doesn't make much of a difference, but that's just uh, what my tests have shown. Uh, movement, of course, is exactly the same. Uh, the shaded region does not represent the outer dead zone in this case. Uh, it represents when you um, enter this uh, jogging state. And of course, if you toggle sprint, uh, that doesn't occur. Now, one of the things I want to also show is the menu cursor. So this is the default menu cursor. It's kind of an interesting shape, kind of semicircular with the these little sharper corners. And uh, you'll see how the shape changes with different dead zone sizes. It's kind of interesting. But uh, that's what this is. Now, um, the slider uh, is controlled. The um, scrolling up and down is controlled with the right stick dead zone. So as you can see, um, that moves once I break out of the right stick dead zone. Now moving on to the maximums for everything. Let's, uh, and I'll change the graphs. Okay. Now starting with the uh, mini cursor, uh, you can see this is uh, it becomes a giant circular dead zone. This is a little larger than the uh, left stick dead zone um, has it set to. However, um, the restricted diagonal movement is, um, despite the option saying 45, this is 45 um, degrees from each side, so it's actually 90 degrees that it restricts. So um, if you set it to this, you only have four directions of movement. So perfectly left, perfectly up, perfectly right, and perfectly down. And uh, to demonstrate that with aiming, you can see that this is uh, perfectly left, the acceleration special has been pushed out a bit, and then perfectly up, perfectly right, and then perfectly down. So I wouldn't recommend using that option, but that's what that does. Um, now for movement, uh, let me... Movement is uh, exactly what is expected, um, just with the change in the uh, change in the uh, run threshold. Now to look at the minimums. Oops, a little awkward. Okay. Okay. So let's change the graphs for this. Okay. Look at that. Oops. That's not. There we go. All right, so the movement dead zone, uh, or left stick dead zone, despite being at zero, uh, the cursor uh, still has a small square dead zone, and um, diagonal movement is restricted uh, like a square dead zone normally does. However, the right stick dead zone is actually zero, and you can see that very uh, small uh, stick movements, or any stick movement, will uh, cause this uh, the menus to start scrolling. Uh, this can actually be pretty cumbersome, uh, despite 
Uh, I'll show what the movement and uh, in game. So of course, uh, in game, if I keep moving, uh, I'm, I can't stop moving because dead zone zero. Uh, it's extremely difficult to hit true zero um, from stick position. Um, and with uh, the right stick, you can see this makes aiming feel quite a bit more responsive. And uh, drift is pretty minimal uh, because of how slow acceleration starts. So, but however, in menus, since you automatically start scrolling, uh, this can be kind of awkward, especially when you're trying to access things. And it's extremely awkward uh, in the star map when selecting a mission where you'll just keep zooming in and out uh, just because your um, stick is moving out, um, just moving slightly. So. Um, despite these options being great for actual in-game movement and aiming, it'd be nice to see separate uh, cursor dead zones and uh, uh, separate menu dead zones for the left and right sticks because uh, while you might want to use a low right stick dead zone in-game, uh, this can be pretty awkward in the menus. Now um, the graphs aren't going to be accurate so I'm just going to... Um, Actually, I'll keep that at zero. Um, the graphs on screen aren't going to be accurate at this point. Uh, but one of the other things I want to indicate is, uh, or talk about, is the left and right, uh, or sorry, the horizontal and vertical sensitivities are different. So this is the vertical sensitivity. This is the horizontal sensitivity. So the horizontal sensitivity is quite a bit faster. And of course uh, you see it snap up or down, that's the acceleration kind of building up. But, um, so the vertical sensitivity is lower than the horizontal, and um, that's fine for a lot of people, but some players want them to be the same, and this can feel awkward. Uh, one of the bigger issues with this is that uh, this changes your diagonal movement. So if you point at like 45 degrees, uh, the cursor is actually not going to move at 45 degrees, it's going to move at a more shallow angle because having different axis sensitivities normally changes um, the output uh, the output cursor movement. So, being able, uh, so one of the things I want to request is another slider for vertical sensitivity so we can have horizontal and vertical sensitivities so players can customize this themselves and um, by setting them equal you can get um, equal sensitivities and accurate diagonal movement. Uh, next thing is turn acceleration. It'd be nice to have an option to control and disable this because um, this might feel a little jarring to have um, just put uh, just have this extra acceleration occur when you might not want it to. You might just want to you know sit at the max speed because it's predictable, but have uh, having this ex turn acceleration kick in might uh, feel a little inconsistent. Lastly is an option for the acceleration curve. So uh, that, that controls how fast your acceleration builds up based on sick movement. As you can see, um, it's 0% dead zone right now. So um, with rather large stick movements, uh, you can see just how small movements you could make uh, while having a relatively modest um, output acceleration. Some players might think this starts too slow and want like a more linear curve. Uh, some players, you know, might like it as is. Uh, but a slider would allow players to control um, exactly what kind of uh, curve they want to use. So, for example, um, let me put this to three, and I don't know. Yeah, there we go. And um, so as you can see, I've just altered the acceleration curve, and now with small movements, uh, you make quite a bit larger movements. And that's sort of what this option would control. I'm doing this through an outside uh, adapter, but uh, having this in-game would allow players to customize their acceleration to their preference. I've done it pretty um, exaggerated degree, but uh, this is kind of what it would look like um, if players were given this option. But that about covers it. Um, thanks for watching, and have a good rest of your day.